Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Loggers couldn't believe what they found in the middle of a tree. Let's be honest. Lumberjacks are in one of the most physically daunting professions in the world. Like seriously, having to saw through wood all day would split my back in not just two, in countless pieces. I just don't have the strength and verve that I once had when I was in high school. Ah, uh, boy. Don't I miss my days of youthful innocence? Anyways, where was I? Oh right, lumberjacking. So while it may be physically tough, Lumberjacking also requires incredible skill to maneuver the huge pieces of tree trunks safely to the ground. Still, it doesn't always seem like it would be the most exciting job. If you've seen one tree felled, you've seen them all, right? But that's not how life works. Lumberjacks can find some pretty amazing stuff. Trees can live to be hundreds of years old, and during all that time, lots of weird things can happen to them. So, our first epic discovery begins with a routine tree removal, where several loggers were working to take down a tree, when they suddenly struck something hard inside the trunk while chainsawing. In fact, what was inside the tree was so tough that the chainsaw stalled, and the chain itself broke. That's when the lumberjacks decided to take a closer look. What they came across shocked them beyond their wildest dreams. There was some unusual splintering inside the trunk and they had never seen such an occurrence in the several years they had perfected their craft. But before anything else, the lumberjacks pulled out what, in clear view of everyone, appeared to be warped metal. Interestingly, that wasn't the only thing that was lodged inside the trunk. It's as if the lumberjacks had opened a Pandora's box of unexplained mysteries. They could tell that there was something else, so they took an even closer look to determine what it was. That's when they came across something very strange. There, they spotted a second piece of weird material. Clearly, it was metal, but how had it gotten inside the tree trunk? Had this tree somehow grown with this metal naturally occurring inside, or was there a more clear answer? As it turned out, the strange warped metal balls that the lumberjacks found were actually bullets from a shotgun. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Alright, so that made more sense than naturally occurring metal, but how would these bullets become lodged so far inside of the tree trunk to begin with? After doing some research, the men discovered a little bit about how trees heal. Should something like a bullet end up lodged inside a tree, after, say, a hunter missed a deer, the tree will encapsulate the object and continue growing around it. Apparently, one of the crewmen believed this was likely the result of bored hunters taking target practice. The most remarkable aspect, however, was still to be discovered. After counting the rings on the tree, the loggers concluded that it had been lodged in the tree's trunk for over 30 years. As the crew continued to saw through the wood in the hopes they might uncover other mysteries, they found several more bullets. It appeared that whoever decided to shoot at the tree had spent quite some time working on target practice. Firing these bullets buried so deep in the tree is like stumbling across a small piece of local history. Can you believe trees can grow around objects like that? These bullets were like modern day fossils. It just goes to show that even though being a lumberjack might be tiring, it doesn't have to be boring. In fact, there are more magnificent discoveries that these dudes have made on the job. Take for example, this lumberjack from Florida. This video appears to show a tree that has been sliced through its trunk, only to reveal what appears to be a snake that was sawed in half. Which begs the question, how in the heck did the snake get there in the first place? Clearly in shock, the half-chopped creature then slithers out of the trunk and drops to the ground to take its final breath. This lumberjack isn't sticking his hand in tree holes anytime soon. Holy shit. Or what about the loggers from Georgia Craft Co? Well, one fine morning in 1980, about seven to eight workers left their homes for work just after 10 a.m. They all sat in an empty truck that was barreling towards the location for the day. 
There was too much work that needed to be completed and they were already behind schedule. The loggers set about their various tasks immediately upon arriving at the site. It was a completely normal day, that is, until the afternoon lunch break. As they resumed their duties, they noticed something odd about one of the trees. They had chopped down most of the chestnut trees they were supposed to. Only a few of them remained, including a particularly lightweight one that seemed to be hollow inside. At first glance, it seemed like it would require the easiest of efforts as compared to the rest of the trees. However, the tree had contained a hideous secret within itself and one that they were about to unearth. As soon as the tree trunk had fallen on its side, the loggers began to cut it into smaller sizes for easier transportation. But while going about this routine procedure, one of the loggers noticed something unusual. They had previously assumed the tree was hollow, and they were partly right. In that case, sunlight should have been passing through the trunk from one end to the other, but this wasn't the case, which meant one of two things. The tree was not hollow, or there was something stuck in between. People looking at the tree trunk from a distance described it as looking like a black hole inside a tree. But whichever way they looked at it, it looked both fascinating and intriguing at the same time. One could easily mistake it for a stem growing inside a tree, but it looked much weirder than that. While the loggers exchanged quizzical looks about what could be blocking the light from passing through, they faced another dilemma. Who was going to go inside and check out what was blocking the light from coming through the hollow tree? Suspicions ran wild among the community and no one was volunteering initially. They all agreed that it couldn't be anything dangerous, but still, there was a general hesitation. The loggers appeared to have reached a stalemate when one of them suddenly offered himself up to get into the hollow trunk and solve the mystery. The brave volunteer bent forward and stuck half of his body inside to try and get a closer look. But then he jumped back out in a shriek and for a few seconds couldn't even bring himself to describe what he'd just seen. His colleagues came up to him as soon as he'd caught his breath, glaring at him with curious faces. But he just stood there, pale and spellbound by what he'd seen. By then, his colleague's curiosity had reached boiling levels. When he finally spoke, he informed them he'd seen a beast. They didn't immediately believe him even though they were still scared, so much so that every one of them had stopped working. It's not every day the loggers get caught in the middle of confusing circumstances. Several other loggers peeked for a quick look and came out with looks of puzzlement in their faces. How on earth did such a thing get there? What was it in the first place? It was a dreadful scene for them, never mind that it would be the very first discovery of its kind. And they were about to learn that not only scientists and archaeologists make such discoveries. One thing was clear to the loggers, they were not going to be able to use the tree, and that they'd have to count it as a loss of their work. But they also knew that whatever was stuck in between the tree trunk was significant and valuable. So they took the most logical step. They called their manager, but the manager instructed them to focus on completing the day's work as required. From a casual look, whatever was stuck in the tree seemed like a monster trying to jump out. Others saw it as a ferocious canine growling and baring its teeth. The way the creature was positioned in the trunk indicated that it might have been trying to move forward, but then got frozen in time. The clue lay with the creature's teeth, something they noticed after taking a closer second or third look. It seemed pretty obvious as soon as they looked keenly. The creature had a long snout with sharp teeth and the paws were also visible. These features were visible because it had been close to the trunk's top. But the mystery only began to unfold when the loggers established that the creature was a dog. This trap dog is, in fact, our best pick of the day. People began to make all kinds of amusing descriptions, while others called it a mummified dog. The creature wasn't even mummified in the first place. It seemed the dog had simply obeyed a command to freeze and stay still until he died and he agreed, but this was only speculation. Other speculation includes chasing raccoons up trees, only to find itself falling inside and lodged inside the tree's hollow trunk. In Waycross, Georgia stands a museum called the Southern Forest World. The museum was opened under the Southeastern United States Industry of Forestry. 
It features a collection of wood production from colonial America to modern day farming techniques. It was here that the canine ended up, still held within the tree trunk as an artifact for the local and tourists to view. They had decided to donate it to the museum authorities as a special collection. But with that being said, we've come to the end of the video. So, do you now believe lumberjacks have a pretty exciting job? And have you ever found something intriguing inside of a tree? Or being eaten by a tree? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Want more videos that'll exist until the end of time? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching.